this is Shell of Shell's Creations and I want to share a tip with you today on how to use the Alt, Click and Drag to duplicate items. There's a few different ways I want to show you as we work on this layout. Okay, the first one is if I wanted to make, um, if I wanted to use photos and I wanted to duplicate my photo spots, I wanted them to be about the same size. So I'm going to use the command or control and the apostrophe key to add a grid. And I just guess at about what size I want. I'm going to put three pictures across here. Then I will need um, a new layer to fill here. So in the layers palette, I click on the new layer icon and I will um, fill that space. Black will do. Then control D to deselect so that it will duplicate. Then I hold down my Alt key, and you'll notice when you hold down your Alt key, you have to have the Move tool selected. You hold down your Alt key, you can see that the cursor is now a little black arrow and a little white arrow that tells you you're going to duplicate it. Um, holding down that Alt key, you can click and drag. As soon as you let go, you can click and drag again, and it'll make three of them. Uh, we want to move the center one to the top of the stack and rotate it just a little bit, like so, and click on the checkbox to confirm. Okay, now that I have my photos added, I want to show you how to use the Alt, click and drag to duplicate an element. I'm going to duplicate this glitter splat. One of the things that you need to be aware of is what you, whatever the cursor is selecting is what's going to be duplicated and since um, a glitter splat is kind of scattered, I want to make sure that I'm not duplicating my background layer. So I make sure that I have unchecked the auto select box. When you check it, um, sometimes you'll be moving the glitter splat, sometimes you'll be moving your background. Um, so I always leave it unchecked so that I know exactly what I'm duplicating when I'm doing something like this. Okay, um, let's see, I want to put another one up here, so I will hold Alt down, click and drag. In fact, I think I want two up here, so I'll click and drag again, rotate it a little bit. I want it quite a bit of glitter up here. Okay, and now that I have that, click the checkbox to confirm. Now that I have that duplicated, I think I'm going to put that another one down here on the bottom as well. Okay. Holding down click, or excuse me, holding down Alt, I can click and drag and we'll put one more over here. Better rotate that one just a little bit so that it doesn't quite look the same as the others. And the checkbox to confirm and one more. Um, click and drag, holding down Alt, we can put one more right up here. I want to make sure that that's the part I want showing. Let's spin it around and see what my choices are. Yeah, I want quite a bit of glitter with not too much spread, about right there. I think I'll use my arrow keys to nudge it down just a little bit and click to confirm. That's a quick, easy way to duplicate an item on your layout um, over and over. Okay, now you can see that I've added my title. Um, I use the Scribbles Alpha, but it's not very visible. I even have a drop shadow on it, and that still didn't work with the making it visible. And so when you want to repeat something on each letter in the alpha is part of your title, we can use alt to make that a speedy process. So I want to use the white paper of my background, so I'm going to paste that in over top of the W, and then use um, the alt key, over the click over the crack in between and duplicate it. Now holding the, um, the alt key to click and drag works out here in the canvas to duplicate items. It also works over here in the layers palette to duplicate items. So holding down alt I can click on that layer um, and it will put the white just above the um, the rest of the layers. I don't want to group my layers together, excuse me, I don't want to merge my layers together because I'll lose my shadow. So I just hold down alt, click and drag it above the H, group those together, click and drag it above the E, group those together, click and drag it above the second E, group those together, Click and drag it above my apostrophe, or excuse me, my exclamation point, and click and drag those together. That was a quick way to do that. Now, I did it here with just uh, attaching a paper layer to an alpha. If you had um, an adjustment layer, like a hue saturation la layer, maybe you changed an alpha from orange to pink, you could do the same thing. Click and drag that adjustment layer to each of those letters, and it would make the same changes to each of your alpha. It's a quick way to make the changes and still maintain the independence of the letters. Okay, one last thing I want to show you, how to use the click and drag in your layers palette to, um, to add papers to the DIY stitched pennants. Um, these pennants are set up on separate layers so that you can put different papers associated with each pennant. If I wanted all the same paper on the front, I could merge them, but then my pattern will be tilted on each one. So they're left separate so that you can adjust them. So I'm going to click and drag up to, um, let's put that on 
layer six, I'm going to have to, or excuse me, layer nine, I'm going to have to drag it over to the right spot and adjust the angle on it. Um, click, put it right there. Yeah, now click to confirm. And then how about we put it on layer six as well. Again, click and drag it down. We can move it to right where we want it. Um, clip it to it so I can figure out which one six is and adjust the angle of my paper. I've done the same thing with this paper, which is on layer two. Let's put that one on uh, layer seven. Click and drag up here to above layer seven. Uh, move the paper over so that we can see the duplicated paper. Adjust that to the right angle and clip to confirm. And you can see how easy it would be to add different papers to each or even the same paper over and over again. How quickly it is to get them on there so that you still have the um, option of changing the angle on each of the papers and adjusting them and how speedy it is to just use that alt click and drag to add um, another copy of the paper above the layer you want it on. The layers palette is handy for adjusting those. And here's my finished layout. I hope that this tip of how to use Alt to duplicate things can speed up your scrapping.